Scott and Todd here in New York City. Yeah. This is what they have to say about April Fool's today. This, in case you are new listeners, you're a brand new listener here on our show. What happens to old DJs, man? They lose their teeth. Let me share your wish. What's that about? Where's your DJs? Probably all his facelifts. (laughs) All his facelifts? Let me tell you. A lot of radios, peepers. What, what? What was that? I haven't heard Scott in a long time. Man. Wow, he What's doesn't even sound. He doesn't sound like he used to at all. He also does the uh, voiceovers for Hannity Show, and sometimes he tries to say some of those uh, those political names, and it, it, it's horrible. Doesn't get over his dentures. Yeah, he's got to have dentures, but he's got dentures. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like effortant. <laughs> effortant. <laughs> this, in case you. Our new listener, your brand new listener here on our show. We don't do April Fool's Day. Not anymore. No. Is it against your religion? Is that why you don't do it? No, Shut don't up, the it. hole. There comes the Who's hole. Who's the hole? There comes the hole. Patty Steele. Oh, is there a problem there? <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Hi, Patty. How are you? Hi, Patty. Hi. I, I'm actually friends with your husband now. Don't, uh, uh, I love Patty Steele. Uh, you know, things happen over the years and yeah. things change. I'm sorry we said all those uh, things She's a things talent, about you. talented woman in radio. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Bunch of phonies we are. At this point, we can't go anywhere. There's, There's only someone we run there. into that hates us. Yes, she knows his radio. Yeah. He sounds like an old man, like really bad. He sounds like he's our sheriff. Yeah, the sheriff isn't. <laughs> he looks like a Halloween mask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, don't be funny, you know. Oh, sorry. Hey, hey, hey you hey, ruined the show. Hey, hey, you just ruined the show there. Easy, sorry, Rick. Against your religion, is that why you don't do it? Or? I don't believe it's a this question of thing? religiosity. <laughs> it's it's just, just bored with it? Well, it's just a little dumb. corny. It's dumb. Passe. You know, it's more of a third grade sort of thing. <laughs> well, see, uh, Scott and Todd uh, did an April Fool's prank every single year. Yep. Right? Yeah. And you we, rock, sell them out. Come on. To take you inside. You used to work for those f- fags. To take you, you inside doing? radio, a lot of radio companies pretty much have banned April Fool's uh, pranks because it, it gets people in trouble. Yep. It, and so they can't say that, so they have to go on the radio and kind of spin it another way. Also would like to take responsibility for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> the I, banning of April Fool's pranks. <laughs> and there's... There's people who try to do it in radio, and uh, sometimes you'll read about them in the newspaper. Hey, let's tell you about these guys at Omaha, what they did. Uh, they said the, the, the mayor was killed in a car accident today. Omaha. Yeah, see, the problem is a lot of those things, not so funny. No, right. And it's just, it no. really doesn't take a lot of skill to go on a radio and tell you that the Lincoln Tunnel has been blown up or shut down or whatever people were right. Okay, you need you to know. stop saying that in case someone no, just tunes in. Oh, oh yeah. So yeah keep well. things all in the up and up. Yeah. <laughs> keep it safe, everybody. Keep it safe. So, Iraq. Uh, First of all, can I just address something? And we've done this before, and it's ancient history, but I have to address it because they just did. Yeah. The reason we said that the mayor was dead all those years ago. Ten years ago today. Was to show how ridiculous April Fool's gags were. It wasn't that we seriously wanted to get on and, and do something like that. It's exactly what this idiot is saying. That they're stupid. It's that it, We weren't going on really going, hey, this is going to be a great April Fool's gag. It was to point out how ridiculous April Fool's gags are on the radio because they're so hacky. So we just went above and beyond ridiculous with uh, with that gag. But everybody thinks we actually were doing an April Fool's gag right. for, for the sake of doing one. Yeah, that was no. that was our our whole agenda that day. Yeah. And Scott and Todd, they've done a, a million Jack. hacky April Fool, <laughs> April Fool's Day pranks, including... Uh, Talking get- without my teeth in. <laughs> right. That's what I'm doing this year. <laughs> Maybe that's their April Fool's prank. Yeah. Hey, dude, take out your teeth today and just talk. Do the whole show without my choppers in. <laughs> you got to do my dentures. Welcome. I'm going to leave it here in a glass of water by the console. <laughs> you old doddering fool. You should be working in a ghost town out west. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, partner. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your hands and feet in the car at all times and get ready for the wildest ride this side of the Pecos. <laughs> it's the lightning train. 
<laughs> Big thunder lightning. <laughs> Yuck. Ah, uh, what a tool. His face looks like it was sculpted out of rock. <laughs> Doesn't it? It's awful it's, looking man. It's worse than the Lionel Richie big clay head from the hello video. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Scott and Todd. Oh, yeah. Scott from the Scott and Todd show, I guess, is a legend in this business. I don't really know why. Mm -hmm. Um, Scott Shannon. And we haven't heard his uh, voice in a long time. And I guess he talked about our April Fool's prank yesterday, and we couldn't believe what he sounds like now. He doesn't sound like him anymore. And I was trying to do this voice all night long around my apartment. This, in case you... Our new listener, your brand new listener here on our show, we don't do April Fool's Day. Not anymore. The guy, uh, I I don't know for sure, but it, it's pretty obvious that he yeah. may, may have had a lot of face work done. And I think it's gotten to the point where it can't, he can't keep his hands I can't, I can't open my mouth to pronounce this. It's, it's affected my speech. It's, yeah. it's uh, the Botox and the stretchy. I got stretchy face. And uh, my dentures. That's the dentures. It sounds like it's dribbled, doesn't this it? This guy is... Yeah. Doing morning radio in New York City, and there's guys in, in small markets just waiting for the opportunity. But you got to wait for this guy, I don't know, for the lower part of his jaw to fall off. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Our show. We don't do April Fool's Day. Not anymore. No. Is it against your religion? Is that why you don't do it? Or? I don't believe it's a it's question of thing. religiosity. <laughs> it's just, just bored with it? Well, it's just a little dumb horny. Dumb. Passe. You know, it's more of a third grade sort of thing. <laughs> it is. I just know you guys did a good prank. Why would why would they be upset? I don't know what the prank was. <laughs> I well, yeah. I just know it was good. Yeah. I know someone's got one leg now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've and been there's, here. There's people who try to do it in radio, and uh, sometimes you'll read about them in the newspaper. Hey, let's tell you about these guys at Omaha, what they did. Uh, they said the, the, the mayor was killed in a car accident today. Oops. Yeah, see, the problem is a lot of those things... I see, the problem is there is no problem. Yeah. <laughs> it worked out very well for our uh, careers, you idiot. problem is that you're 75, trying to talk to 15-year-old girls. Right. And you want to talk yes. about April Fool's uh, Day pranks. These guys did the hackiest ones out there. The dumb ones, like, yeah. uh, starting today, there's going to be a tax on your pet. Starting today... Uh, the one dollar bill is going to be taken out of circula circulation. When the hell did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> they did the hackies of the hack. <laughs> Hacky hack. The mayor was killed in a car accident today. Yeah. When the, the hell did this happen? Yeah, Those things, that. not so funny. No, right. But he didn't and say which just, It really doesn't no. take a lot of skill to go on a radio and tell you that the Lincoln Tunnel has been blown up or shut down or whatever people were right. Okay, you need you to know. stop saying that in case someone no, just tunes in. And what oh, is your... she's got to she's got to put the fire out. <laughs> oh, you got to stop saying that. Oh, <laughs> lest somebody actually have a moment where they're interested in anything you're saying for a split second <laughs> as they're driving. I, uh, oh, the radio hole. I listen to these shows now just to listen to the hole, and it's hilarious. They will. When they pipe in with their their nonsense. Oh. Trying to keep it all safe. Keep it safe. Keep it safe. This bunch of wet blankets. <laughs> oh, God. <in> mouth. <laughs> What's my Scott? Is, he's got this car. Yes. Can't open my mouth. Yeah, to the, uh, yeah, what yeah. I'm trying to say. Can't talk over my dentures. And what is his skill? Wow, look does, at that jaw. Does anyone oh, know his skill? That, is that a picture of that guy there? Yeah. Wow, he yeah. looks like Rocky Dennis. Oh, <laughs> right? yeah, he should be yeah. pulling bit, pins right? out of a map. <laughs> he does. <laughs> crying, pulling pins out of a map, and sleeping with his head up on a pillow. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Yeah, like the elephant man trying to comb his hair with his with the with the, the shaving kit. <laughs> yeah, the shaving <laughs> kit. Gave him dabbing cologne on his giant neck before the hooker had to kiss him and cry. I always hated the elephant man. I always feel guilty at the end of it because I'm so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I did like just a little bit better, but you know. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> what do you got, E Rock? Thing goes, I sent you another photo of Scott Shannon. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, that's the rock man out of Never Ending Story. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> or you could actually also punch up any Easter Island statue. <laughs> yeah. Got a, like, what is going on with his lower jaw? Is it just starting to get ready to fall off or something? It's stretching out before the big uh, separation? He's yeah, like, he's done something. I want, <laughs> I want more audio of Scott from Scott and Todd. Okay. Mm. We, we haven't done that justice yet. Something yeah. is going on with that guy's voice. Where's Keith? And we got to exploit it to the fullest because that's what we do. Yeah. 
We pick on people. <laughs> we, pick, we pick on the easy target. Pick, pick, pick. We asked for some Scott and Todd audio. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Eh, I don't know what's going on over there. This is a popular show here in New York City, and I'm starting to wonder why. Starting? Well, you, you wow. figure that there's an audience out there for, for some of these shows. For anything? That, that we just can't understand, right? Yeah. But uh, this Scott and Todd, man, Scott can't talk anymore, and he's still doing radio here in New York City. There's yeah, something wrong with his choppers, I think. Well, there's been rumors of plastic surgery and all sorts of Botox and stuff like that. I'm starting to think his, his French is, is too tight to, to, to move to jaw so we could get the words out. So he can't really talk? So we got some uh, quick uh, samples of what they're doing this morning. Mm. Listen to this voice. They got her on bad day. Oh, yeah. They got her on charges of resisting arrest with violence. That's wow. a bad day. So, Rebecca Rees, or Reyes, R-E-Y-E-S, I would say Reyes. Reyes. Oh, Reyes. Reyes, 105 pounds, that was Just it. Just replace the taillight. Well, I think that's well. That's the least of one of them. No, I know. <laughs> you got some issues going here. Yeah. You know, it's one of those, there's a lot I'm of sure. those beautiful women who get into that kind of thing, and they get... I don't know why, but they just, uh, you see it all the time. He doesn't What's the old coach in Notre Dame, Norton? I um, don't know. Oh, what? The old school um, coach? Newt Rockney? No, nah, the, the, one of their famous ones. <laughs> he looks ones like recently. the rock part of Newt Rockney. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they sound just like him. What the <laughs> hell were they talking Lou, about? Lou, I don't even know what they, they were talking, talking about. And Lou. he's got like a spit thing going on. Yeah. Like, he can't control his spit. Did they get anything accomplished there? I don't know what that was. Yeah, there was a woman who got, apparently got arrested, and they, the Reyes, Reyes, sorry, why, yes, Reyes. Reyes, Reyes. He sounds like Voss, if Voss sounded better. <laughs> why don't yeah. you just replace the taillight? Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, oh Good guys. Gosh. Guys. And then uh, there's a big story here in New York. Jerry Seinfeld rolled his car. He's fine. Nice. Out there in the Hamptons, driving around, you know. Uh, to and fro his huge East Hampton mansion. Oh, he's got that giant uh, place out there. And he was in a what? A Fiat? A Fiat? A Fiat. A 67 Fiat. A 67 Fiat. And the brakes, uh, what? Just uh, quit. The brakes Just failed. Quit. <laughs> Elaine, the brakes <laughs> failed on my car. What do I do? <laughs> and then he pulled, what, the emergency brake, and that wasn't working too well, so then he decided to turn right hard, and yeah. that uh, made him roll. There were canned laughs going on. Kramer! Kramer, I can't stop my car! What do I do? I don't know, Jerry. I think the s cut your brake line. It's the s, Jerry. I can't believe it! I rolled my Fiat! What do I do? All the c***ers, they'll come and burn it for you. You'll get the insurance money. Just make sure c***ers do it. Uh, what the hell's he doing? I don't know. He owns like he owns like 200 cars or something crazy yeah. like that. So he so he drives around in the piece of crap one. He has the one a, that could possibly fail on him. Yeah, you'd, you'd think he'd have uh, all of them in impeccable condition. He's got a garage on his property that is way bigger than anyone's house that yeah. is listening to this show. On 83rd Street, he had a building for five years. It took like a, a brownstone yeah. renovated into being this garage. Converted this into a garage, garage that like lifts the cars up five stories and stacks up his classic cars and Porsches. And then he pulls out a Fiat. Uh, this how, old how, Fiat. How, how can I go? <laughs> what? Why? How come a white guy could do that? <laughs> and there's so much love and respect when you talk about it. If a nigga did that, you would just be <laughs> all day long talking about what's wrong with him. Because the cars all the be cars, all, <laughs> Did you hear what 50 Cent did to a house? He turned a damn brownstone to a garage. <laughs> That's crazy. Seinfeld is a classic. He's a collector. Because everyone are just loves him. Frivolous. Because <laughs> everyone loves him. <laughs> Black people are frivolous. White people are collectors. You watch that show, Seinfeld. Man, people love the guy. Oh, oh he's so funny and non-threatening. He no, had I think 200 cars. If 50 Cent had 200 cars, I think it'd be a problem. I think it's pretty crazy that he turned a brownstone into a freaking they parking garage. For five years, they complained. The neighbors hated it. Out of their mind. All you hear is car elevators going up and down all hours. I want 
on car number 32. It's on the third floor. <laughs> Get me my Porsche. <laughs> Get it going. I guess I Jerry, was... you ought to get a <laughs> to work here to bring your cars down for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> I was reading he has 47 Porsches. 47. 47 Porsches. And just Porsches. Porsches. Yes. Yeah. You think as the car is rolling, he's just thinking two hundred and fifty million dollars, two hundred and fifty million dollars. <laughs> yeah. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Riding a car made of cotton. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. That, uh, I, I hate stories like that because I do kind of like going out and driving. You know, <laughs> he's driving a car before safety, like those cars. Yeah, before, yeah, before, before they were safety. saying about safety. I, I don't need seatbelts. <laughs> yeah, he's worth about a billion dollars, and he still has the seatbelt that goes across your waist. It's got the steering wheel that just goes right through your chest if you hit something at five miles an hour. Uh, no <laughs> safety check. Yeah, no airbags, nothing like that. Uh, thing of the future. That's the first thing they do in commercials now. Is just to, you know, it's got a it got a, a three in safety. And that's the first well, they thing they always say. talk about that drivers, passengers, back side curtain airbags. You know, mm -hmm. airbags pop out of everywhere now. Yeah. Back then, <laughs> you got a metal dashboard. He's driving one of those cars, that oil slick come back like a spy car. Or oh, you ever see Get Smart when it's driving slow and then all of a sudden it just speeds up real fast and drives slow again? <laughs> he's driving a Max Box car. He probably uh, has a death wish. He's tired. Hey. Yeah, you think he's tired of the whole thing? Just, ah, kill me. He's Jerry tired. Seinfeld should never roll a car. He has enough money to prevent that from happening. I would have loved to have seen him crawling out of the wreckage. <laughs> like, because everyone does, you know, it really humanizes you and humbles you, I think, when you just, I'm crawling from the wreckage. <laughs> Elaine, pick me up. I'm on Long Island. Who cut his, who cut his uh, brake line? I'm crawling. It was the <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> they cut your brake line. They're jealous of you, Jerry. They're jealous. The <laughs> is are jealous. Stop talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, just crawling out of one of the windows, one of the busted or the windshield or something. Uh, I'm crawling out of my windshield of my Fiat. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Were you swerving to avoid a <laughs> Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any of those in the Hamptons. Or a, or a, a Diddy. Or a squirrel. <laughs> what, what, was what was it? <laughs> Did you think you saw Bigfoot or a <laughs> Jerry? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> Terrible, man. Make a great episode. Jerry rolls his car in this hilarious episode of Seinfeld. Oh. <laughs> How scary yeah. is that? Yeah, it's pretty Have scary. You ever done that? How do you even roll a car? Was it Never like, what rolled happened? a car. That's usually some type of, um, you're avoiding something at high speed. <laughs> oh, and then you just... Yeah, he, you got to... No, because he pulled the emergency brake. That wasn't working, so now he, he, he turns hard right. He was, was turning hard right to try to get off the road, and that's what made the roll. And then I guess the roll stopped right before a lot of, lot of traffic that was flying. Oh, by. really? Oh, yeah, this was a close one for him. Oh, he, this was a close call for Jerry. Jerry Seinfeld almost got killed. Yeah, that would have been something. Imagine that in the with, news. With uh, no we're reporting now that yes, Jerry Seinfeld was killed in a car accident. Oh, they'd be doing all kinds of retrospective. And, yeah, oh. he was at the comedy trial last night. He went on and uh, oh, so he's okay. Yeah, oh yeah, he's fine. He was there last night. It was so funny too because uh, I went well, on last and, night. What a trooper, Kevin Brennan. And it was so funny to watch Colin get bumped. Oh. That's really? right. Yeah, well, yeah. Seinfeld. Seinfeld's here. Right? <laughs> act like you act like you're a cosign for it, Colin. Gary <laughs> Pratt, do you mind if I went to Colin? <laughs> <laughs> Colin's trying to act like he volunteered for it, but he really got bitched. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. Yeah, he'll take the bump. What do you got? What's wrong with that needy psychotic sign? Oh. Why would you go on stage after you roll your car? <laughs> Why would you go on stage after you get two hundred fifty million dollars? Why just? Bro, what is he doing? I'd go on and take a dump every night, and then try to go look. You can't come back anymore. It's I know you're Jerry Seinfeld, anymore. but you can't do that anymore. The crowd. Just, Jerry just squats on stage with his fingers up, taking a dump, and then just gets up and walks off without a word or an explanation. <laughs> and then covers the dump up with some money. <laughs> yeah. He throws a few hundred like Sonny Corleone. <laughs> just covers up dump.
Uh, covers damn. it up like a cat does. <laughs> <laughs> but, use, but use the money. He scratches money over his <laughs> and then just, just, the And just walks off. Scratching uh, hundreds over his... Rolls another car. He just, just walks away. <laughs> He's bored, obviously, huh? Well, I guess so. You gotta yeah. be. You, hey, you so, do a movie, you do stand-up, and then you want to go into to go back to stand-up. He's a comic. Start yeah. of this break, talking about Scott and Todd and how awful <laughs> Scott now uh, speaks. And uh, it just so happens they did their own Jerry Seinfeld... Uh, uh, bit today. Let's see did how they? that was. Right. Yeah. You just heard ours. We'll compare what they did now. Okay. You see that story about Jerry Seinfeld, too? Yeah. Yeah, he's okay. I guess he was tooling around in his classic 67 Fiat, one of his many vehicles. Well, you know what's funny is this is the car. A lot of guys who collect cars Nothing have like saying. a driver car, as opposed to the ones that are their real show cars. Unfortunately, this was one of his driver cars. This is, that's... One of the Hold cars on, can I ask they obviously tool around in, right? Right, exactly. Where's the funny part there? Yeah. She's like, something funny about this. It's like, you know what's funny? This was one of his driver cars. He's got his cars that he collects that he doesn't drive, but this was one that he takes out and drives. Uh, that's really the funny part. Yeah. Well, she wanted to talk about, I think, the fact that a lot of times they have a, a multiple... <laughs> 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 Ooh, quiet hole. <laughs> Who the hell is listening to this crap? Was that done? <laughs> yeah, was that, that was it. Well, then they have this part of it. Oh, okay. It's a two-story building, Joe. He has five years to renovate it. He doesn't care. Now you got so much money. He's got full-time people that yeah. work on yep. it. Yep. How many people does it take to take care of that many cars? Four or five, Patty? Is that Twenty, it? Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> How many does it take to hold up your face, rockhead? <laughs> that's a stupid rockhead. This may be so unnecessary, but th th that's the difference between funny people and these people. Is just You can hear the silence that they were having trouble trying, trying to figure, to figure, out, figure what to out, do out with this. how this is yeah. funny. Just, I'm so glad yeah. you brought that up. Like Funny people just go, I'm going to try to make anything funny. I'm just going to think of an angle and say it. <laughs> And and actually be attached to it. That is, yeah, that is, yeah. I'm gonna find a funny angle in this real quick. And just screw around. Or the passionate angle, or something. Something. They were. It was times where somebody. It was like it was silence. Yeah. Where they were going, they wanted to just go. Well, you know, he's safe. So, uh, so Jerry Seinfeld uh, rolled his uh, classic Fiat uh, last night. Yeah. 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 Uh, he's got a lot of money and cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit. So what? Uh, I heard that they. Uh, I don't know. I heard that uh, he, the one he does, he drives. That's the one he likes to drive. Yeah, he, he likes to drive that one. And I, and I also read that he likes to drive a like a 1981, like a 1980, an 80 Porsche. Yeah. Does he keep that in a, a brownstone? He renovated. How many people do you think it takes to run that? <laughs> How hard is that? Holy mother radio? of God. <laughs> what hard is that drivel? To do on the radio? <laughs> what drivel? I think, I think, I think it takes about two, two people because one, he has to bring the ticket. Two people? Yeah. Right, well. Someone pick my jaw up off the floor. <laughs> they were just listing facts. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, yeah. it's 55. Well, that was our. <laughs> you know, Jerry, Um, that's weird. People don't he's been retired for the show went off the air like almost 10 years ago. Yeah, 10 years ago. I saw the uh, final episode. You see that one? Well, now it's time for traffic and weather, so that's our science yeah. uh, bit. I was gonna. We're gonna do a, a Looney Tune next. That'll that'll waste two minutes. His skull looks like it weighs about <laughs> eighty pounds. It's, it's yeah. a giant fraudulent. He's a Halloween mask. His, face. his head looks like uh, Tarantino's skull, prop skull in uh, Dusk Till Dawn. Wow! When it hits the floor. Nice. Yeah. He's got Terminator head. It looks like his lower jaw is just uh, getting very heavy. Yeah. Something's going on there. It's just going to just fall off his face. It's like he's got that big bulbous chin. <laughs> like a big bulbous a pro chin. It's, a, it's okay. A Saturday Night Live prosthetic. <laughs> it's one of those makeup <laughs> face jaws that they put on when they're do doing like a Leno bit. Yeah. God, yes. That's exactly Hey, here's Because you could almost picture what he would look like with that taken off and having a normal face. I'll tell you, it looks like Mickey Rourke. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know what's going on with Mickey Rourke. Here, wow. Can we finish up the uh, the, yeah. the second half of this wonderful Jerry Seinfeld garage oh, there's thing? More. There's doing. more? Oh, there's more to it? Yeah. <laughs> Why did you tell us? Maybe folks? that's when they get to the funny. Hold okay. On. Laughing right, hats on, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing hats on. I took mine off for a that's second. Right. Just to Sleep. make everyone uncomfortable, we're going to start this part over again. All right. <laughs> yes. It's a two-story building, Joe. 
He has five years to renovate it. He doesn't care. Now you got so much money. He's got full-time people that yeah. work on it. Yep. How many people does it take to take care of that many cars? Two thousand. Five patty, is that <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Because you got to you got to take care of you know you got to clean them you got to do the maintenance. They got to be run a little bit yeah. to keep the engine. That's what. What do you do? Oh, I drive Porsches. Plus, you got to keep the building up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got. Oh, what about all the paperwork on these things? Oh, you make sure the registrations and you know. I have a hard time with two cars. Just trying to which one has got the inspection. Well, a lot of them aren't even registered for the road. No, I see. You yes. know. <laughs> Come on! Oh my that's god! That's the that's the funny part, right? Is that they were doing a break that was they weren't seriously doing that. Attention, people that are working their asses off listening to our show today. That audio you just heard is from a guy that makes millions of dollars a year, <laughs> millions of dollars a year, as you slave yeah. away at your job. What do you think the paperwork is like for this? Uh, <laughs> this. Uh, <laughs> You know, crazy. You think, like Jerry's at Motor Vehicle <laughs> right. online at M D uh, Department <laughs> right. of Motor Vehicle register. I like to register eight thousand cars. All right? Can you imagine? You got to register all those cars. Yeah. This uh. Yeah. How does he carry all those license plates back? Can you imagine? It's got to get heavy when you. Can you imagine, imagine the insurance? The insurance on having. 200 cars. Well, what about checking tire pressure on so many cars? That's four <laughs> per car. So now you're, you're quadrupling even the number of cars he has, and you're putting a, a, a little air thing in the stem. I know he's a billionaire, but with cash prices oh, how they are, I, so can you imagine money. filling up 200 cars so and the prices money. were... Renovated the building. <laughs> the building was originally, I believe, a textile mill back in 1857. <laughs> That's where, can you imagine the neighbors? Uh, they must be... <laughs> my face. Was it, uh, my, my face is trying to... Uh, uh, <laughs> God. He didn't even go for a, a, a Kramer Newman neighbor <laughs> joke. <laughs> like he just All right. disinterested. <laughs> yeah, totally disinterested in the story. But why report it? This is just, just and report like the most inane, boring story. fact. But there's, there's an angle. You said he used to own that building. Yeah, yeah. And the, the angle on that is who bought it? Can't who bought that who one? Who bought his giant garage townhouse? Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, it's so many angles to go. It's just like... I, I'm going to go down and see who bought that. I'm going to go to the town records All right. and see who actually bought it. Yeah, let's, let's talk that. about the cars a little more. I mean, imagine the air fresheners. Or is it, is it, how many? How, you, what kind of, you think how many for air is You think all ever? the cars need air fresheners and the new ones smell <laughs> nice on Guys, the road? Guys, the funny thing is... What's the funny about, thing? What's the funny thing start? is you... No, you, you don't have you, to keep yeah. on. <laughs> don't you have to start? Stardom? What is no, it? No, don't. The stardom. She probably just saw 48 hours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was worried. <laughs> yeah, the Porsche wasn't going to start. Right. You know what? I, I know we're going after uh, Dennis and Callahan in Boston. <laughs> I know that fat pig Terry Clifford is oh, on our radar. But, slob. But, but Sam, drop everything and get us more of this guy. I need some more of this. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Here we are. Yes. You can, you can you imagine uh, how many? Yes. How many? Uh, wow, I don't even have a thought anymore on this. But uh, we still have thirty seconds to kill with this before we get to traffic. That's uh, right. how long does this tune-up take on uh, all those cars? <laughs> Do a tune-up. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of spark plugs to gap. If it's eight cylinder, and you're talking now, now you're to eight times the cars per spark plug that you're gapping and putting in. So that doesn't include wires and a uh, uh, distributor uh, capacitor and points. This could take a while. This could take a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The guy <laughs> makes millions. <laughs> you think to he's do under nothing. That. He's on a creeper underneath one of the cars. <laughs> right. Fixing it. A dumb woman piping in. And who dusts off all the bumpers? Yes. They could get dirty. <laughs> Stop it, hole. How, you, how, you, how do they wash all those <laughs> yeah, cars? <laughs> how do you wash all those cars, you think? You think there's like uh, a car wash day? Hey, Scott. Yeah? Hey, what's, what's going on with that pregnant guy? Oh, there's a story about a man that's pregnant. 
That's an amazing story. I don't know to believe it. You think that's true? I think it's possible. I don't know. You think uh, give him a sonogram? Uh, yes. <laughs> see what's in there? Because I know, uh, you know, people get sonograms when they're pregnant. Where do they deliver that from? <laughs> How are they going to deliver this baby? <laughs> That's going to be quite a quite a delivery. That's a chore. A P section. Uh, the, uh, P section. Stop! Tra- stop throwing jokes in. You think P section? You're ruining it by throwing an actual joke in. Yeah, you, you jerk! You, you jerk! You're supposed to just be a name. I thought that foul. would be a joke. That would. I thought they would say that. Joke. Uh, oh, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't, they wouldn't Elaine. Say P-section. One Elaine, of- where's the crescent wrench? <laughs> I need a crescent wrench, Elaine. <laughs> you think Jerry's got a nice set of tools? You think he buys good tools like Craftsman, so if they break, he can replace them free of charge <laughs> at Steers? Or do you think he buys snap-on tools? Hmm. You're listening to The Big Show. <laughs> we call our show The Big Show. Holy crap. Who do you think got him pregnant? <laughs> pregnant guy. <laughs> you talking about pregnant guy still? Oh. Uh, <laughs> How did he get pregnant? Did he take one in the... <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> if he took one in the air, uh, wouldn't they be delivering a... A pet? A big lump of... <laughs> so they delivered. Congratulations, you're the proud papa of a big lump of. <laughs> for the racist people out there. Oh, geez, don't even say it. This is where you would uh, place the racist joke. Make your own racist joke. Right, yeah, it's a racist joke. Congratulations. <laughs> you have a baby, but it stinks. It's going to smell forever. Let, let's go to Andy in Boston. Andy. That guy sounds exactly like the guy from the movie Hannibal who got his face eaten off and is, like, talking all crazy. <laughs> right. The guy laying in bed with his face chewed up. <laughs> Gary Oldman's character. Yeah, yeah, Gary Oldman. Yeah. Oh, that is funny. Thanks, Andy. All right, we do have to take a break. Sam, we're obsessed with Scott and Todd. <laughs> yes. We're obsessed with these zeros that have been wasting space on the radio Pat- for years. Patrice hit it right on the head, though. They just had nothing. Yeah. And they were just go- trying so hard to get traction, <laughs> like Jerry on his car. They were I'll- trying to get traction, and Look- they rolled. their show rolled over. Look, let's take the people <laughs> inside a little bit here. You know, um... Radio's not easy to do. There's some like things that pop up on the, uh, on the news, and you're trying to find an angle, and you maybe sometimes you, you you miss, right? Yeah, of course. Not sometimes. You definitely miss. But with the Seinfeld story, if you can't make something out, out of that on the spot, you have no business being on the radio. What is that? I don't know. Looks like two guys standing next to Mount Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that's Scott and Todd, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Who's that fruity guest? We gotta retire, Ant, before we get to this point. I'm telling you. Yeah, I know. Yes. Frightening. Coming up, we're gonna. What are you talking about next on uh, the big show? Well, we were talking about the Obama uh, and the guy that wanted a picture. I think we should discuss the. That, I believe he had a, uh, a Canon digital camera <laughs> uh, with probably a four gigabyte uh, memory card in there. He could have taken a lot of pictures with that one. What do you think? Where was Obama? Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't agree, know. I agree there. He was eating. Going to get something to eat, I guess. Uh, uh, what does he like? <laughs> probably a nice steak. I would have a steak. I like steak. Uh, French fries. Well, he was, he was in Philly. You got to think Philly cheese. Yeah, you got to think of cheese steak. Yeah, you gotta think a cheese steak. Steak. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. You got some steak. Yeah, cheese steak. Yeah, 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 cheese steak. steak. I like cheese steak. You like this? I, I actually it. have two in my lower jaw like a pelican. I carry <laughs> it around. <laughs> I got an idea. Why don't we, uh, why don't you, why don't we do a bit of uh, uh, favorite food to eat after the break? Uh, <laughs> in honor of the Obama. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow, did he get stung by a bee in that picture? <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's allergic to bee stings, oh and they got him in the lower face. That, he has a big what is going chin. on? With, do you, look, E-Rock, you know a little something, something about Come on, you worked shows. with these guys. What, what is going on with, the, with uh, Scott's uh, face from Scott and Todd? <laughs> what? What did you tip your hand back for? Say it, you bastard. Drinks a lot of water? Uh, yeah, he, he may indulge once in a while. You've oh, heard really? that he's an alkeholic? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> We don't know that for sure, no, obviously. No, no. And right. there's nothing wrong with that. I work with an alcoholic it. myself. So. It's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> but for some reason, it doesn't affect him at all, which is just a, which has amazed me for years. I try. <laughs> how old is he? He's 60. 27. <laughs> look, look at him. <laughs> and, and how old is that fruity David Spade that he works with? <laughs> In his 40s. Oh, he's 20 years younger? Yeah. I don't know why I just did the math. You right. know what? Um... The frosting thing, <laughs> if you're young and you're, or if you're flea, maybe <laughs> the frosting thing works for a little bit. I don't know. But when you're in your four, 40s and you're still frosting your hair. Frost it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's probably not even frosting. It's probably just batches that he couldn't swallow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why are, you, why are you frosting your hair? Uh, what is that? What you what, how do they do that? What kind are you using? What kind of frosting <laughs> you use? And speaking of frosting, I was, uh, I like cake. I like frosting on cake. It's good stuff. Why are we in this business? We hate everything. I don't know. Why don't we take a break? Patrice oh, O'Neill in studio. Yes, I was just looking at Ben Kingsley on television, and then I realized, oh, no, that's Jamie Lee Curtis. I was <laughs> just looking at that, too. I wasn't even going to bring it up, but I, what did she not do to herself? Oh, she's awful. She just, I think, because I read an article about her where she just... <laughs> said she's not even going to try anymore to look good. So she gave up on herself. She's kind of like David Cohn. She's just creepy looking. <laughs> A David Cohn reference. Oh. Love it. She let her hair go gray. Yeah. And uh, it's re it's cut really short. She's wearing these uh, b spectacles. Mm -hmm. These uh, bifocals. Call them Ben Kingsley. <laughs> All right, listen. Ben Kingsley. <laughs> Dopey hermaphrodite. We are we are twenty minutes late for a break. Oh damn! This no. is not good. So ah, hand no. Uh, this is what I need after the break. I need um, somebody. Uh, maybe on Pal Talk or maybe on Instant Feedback. Uh, I I need someone to keep track of all the people we have made fun of today oh, alone. It's, it's brutal. <laughs> Opie and Anthony. Uh... Hanging with Patrice O'Neill today, giving us a lot of energy. I love when Patrice stops by. Okay. The Opie and Anthony show, by the way. That's, that's Phones are lit. Stop by. Hi. Uh, yeah, we'll, stopping by. <laughs> we'll go to <laughs> we'll go to Kevin in Connecticut. Kevin, what's up? Hi guys. Hey, hey man. Love you. Love the show. Man, man. Shut up, Kevin. <laughs> How would you like to hear uh, a show with Scott Shannon, Ralph Kiner? Dick Clark and Kirk Douglas. I would <laughs> love that show. It would be the number one radio show in America. Tune in every morning. Every day Absolutely. I would tune into that. Thank you, Kevin. You got it. We're yeah. trying to get more Scott and Todd audio because they're just terrific. Yeah, they're great. Sam, uh, what do you got? Poor Sam. Oh, my God. What do you got, Sam? A little more uh, Scott. Oh, thank, <laughs> oh, thank God. God. That show has a lot of filler. That's why it took so long. Like They play songs and bits. And a lot of traffic and weather. And, so know, they barely get to actually chit-chat. Yeah, but it's going to rain tomorrow. Oh, they talk about rain? It's, it should be raining tomorrow and then sort of into, Friday, into Saturday. Ooh. Oh, my God. Clear Damn the it. field. We got more Scott and Todd audio Damn. after the break. Opie and Anthony. We have uh, more uh, Scott yeah, and Todd. Yeah. Oh, my God. Scott uh, and, and Sam put this together. Do we have Holy wow, Jesus who's Christ. Who's that? Peter Wilder. What? Um. Oh no! What? <laughs> oh, Gene Wilder. Yeah, that's, that's Gene Wilder. That's he doesn't look Gene that Wilder. bad, actually. It's just his hair looks messed up. Oh, is that cancer? Oh, is that Gilda Brand? He's got cancer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What kind? I don't know. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my no. God! Put a hat on. Oh. Where are they? You can't afford. Oh, I think you have enough money God. to afford CGI during an interview. He looks like he should be looking through a screen door. Um, uh? Poltergeist 2. Ah, nothing gets past this man. Was it 3? I don't know, it was one of them. You're all gonna die. die. God guy. is in his holy temp. <laughs> <laughs> wow, if you oh, I don't want to see this, man. This is no, horrible. It's really kind of sad oh, to see. Jesus. End a memoir. 
We tried to get him on, but he wouldn't come. He says he's too old for the show. Really? Oh, yes. I think old Gilder, right? We there. would be nice to Gene Wilder. Of course we would be. He's oh, a yeah, genius. we're being nice to him right now. Oh, go that far. Thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, he'll never hear this. I wouldn't go that far. But face to face, he's the type of guy we'd, we would be nice to. All right, listen, let's get to the sky. Can you turn off the TV? It's depressing. Every day. <laughs> oh. It's really bringing us all down. Oh. We'll put a picture up on onaradio.com. All right? Get a screen cap of that or something there, Iraq. Thank you. Scott and Todd, do we have to explain why we're going down this road? It just it, it, it came to our attention that, uh, uh, that, that they just suck. Yeah. And something's going on with Scott's uh, voice. I, we think his jaw is dropping or he's got too much Botox or facelifts. So you can't really get all the words out right. Came from the other day when we were uh, listening to them comment on April Fool's right. Day right. in radio. Yeah. And what the, that always brings every year. But uh, we noticed, screw what they were talking about, uh, Scott st sounds like his teeth are falling out of his head yeah. when he tries to talk. So now we're getting new, more clips. And, and now we're realizing they just don't talk about anything. No. And this guy makes millions and millions of yeah. dollars. He's just wasting space. <laughs> a lot of it with that head. Well, there's a lot of young broadcasters that would love the opportunity to do their show in New York City. But you've got to wait for these old guys to drop dead on the air. Yep. For some reason, New York City, they don't let go of their shows. No. You Thank pretty God. much die in the seat. <laughs> uh, Sam, what do we got? Well, I think the Need first job old compared to these guys. Holy. No, I said thank God they you know don't get rid of radio guys in New York. We're fetuses compared to some of these guys that are still doing radio here in New York. What do you got, Sam? Yeah, this first clip they talked to some random British guy who's going to be at, at a marathon, and uh, really I think got the most out of him with this about clip. the power of wasabi. <laughs> Mention that uh, it's good. Oh, sushi. How good is it? Um. If you like this one, you're going to love the second one and love the third <laughs> mm. one even more. All right, well, that's a great endorsement from our own young Sam, Scott and Todd Audio. Go he ahead. is uh, backing, uh, he's backing Brad to the tune of $10,000 yeah, now. Wow. Is that the race where that, what's her name, Paula Radcliffe? Yeah, she had a few problems a few years ago. <laughs> you remember that, yeah. Todd, where she had to go? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she stopped and and whizzed on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the oh. cameras came out and took photos of her, and it was on the front page of all the newspapers around the world. That was nice of them. Yeah, yeah great. Uh, I mean, that lady's running a race. You got to go, you got to go. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it just wasn't. Probably shouldn't have stopped, that's no. all. Just go while you're running. Well, what do, you want? <laughs> what do you want? See yourself on the picture of the paper, on the front page of the paper with right. a picture of you whizzing? Yeah. I, don't, I think it's a bit rude, is it? Should it I is, try to yeah. hold it? Did you hear that? Like, did you hear it? I wish I didn't. Yeah, I, unfortunately. <laughs> did you hear it? one guy? I, I, this show, I've, I'm just really listening to them. Mm -hmm. One guy goes in his mind. You can hear his mind go, okay, now we have this is, we got something that could get us going. And he throws it out there hoping that whoever the other guy is can, and they can get a roll going. Yeah. The other guy goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one guy uh, really, yeah, yeah. really wants uh, Can you play it again? Like no, I got you. It's it's what what's going on here is Todd. He uh, he's still young and still wants to do radio. Scott is waiting for someone to finally come in and put him out of his, out of his misery and tell him he's got to retire. Well, wait, that's I, exactly what's Grim going Reaper. on in the show. You got a guy that's how old is uh, Scott? Sixty something? You said there's like a twenty year difference between these two guys. Yeah. And he's like, she's whiz on the side of the road. Yeah, Todd's like and, trying and to get something going. And he's You can feel him. Yeah, Scott's like, I, yeah. I don't need to do this anymore. Yeah, she's, she's whizzing on the side of the road. Wait, I I think it might be the opposite. I think that Scott might I don't, try who, to get rolling, and Todd is the one who just kind of goes, yeah. I don't know which is which. Is but that somebody, bad? We can't somebody, even tell. I don't know the yeah. who's who, but can we hear it? somebody wants to get it going, and the other one just goes, nah, I'm not having it. They've been working together so long that uh, Todd has... Uh, has uh, has caught this stroke mouth of uh, Scott. <laughs> which one? I don't know which one. I know what you mean, though, but I don't know which one is the one. Well, let's go to the next clip here, Jimmy. Uh, Scott listen. wishes happy birthday to listeners. Ooh. Oh, I love that segment. Oh, no, I don't. If you were in, if you were in like, Dayton, Ohio, mm. this is New York City. Happy 16th birthday to Ariel Cruz. It was a matter of one high school. Her daddy says her and her friends listen every day. And Jenna Hardshoe. She's 13 today. Goes to Felix Fiesta Middle School. Daddy Ira nice. listens to us. And happy birthday to an old buddy of ours, Tony Orlando. A hundred pounds lighter now. You seen that picture of him on TV, Ty, where he's got his belly sticking out? Oh, yeah. On the left side. And 
you know, you see him with the new Nutrisystem deal going yeah. on. That's where you send away. The <laughs> I was right. You're right, food, Jimmy. Right? Jimmy's right. Well, well, Scott's throwing stuff out there to trying. see what sticks, and and Todd's just going, yeah. Maybe Todd is right. sick of carrying this guy for so many years. He's like, you know what? It's I'm not carrying you it. anymore. I'm not saying a word. I'm you not saying blurt a word. crap out. I'm just going to sit here and yeah. agree. You, you know, see we his all belly know. hanging to the left. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Scott, the yeah. gargoyle face, is trying to be funny. He's trying to get something going. Uh, good point, man. That's yeah. This. And, and Scott, Todd's one who stinks. Yeah. Todd's like, you know what? You make way more money than I do. I've been it carrying you. this effing show. I'm de <laughs> detaching myself from your <laughs> your stone right, jaw. Todd? <laughs> yeah. Tony Olin is like 100 he, pounds lighter. Yeah. Is, is, you see the nutrition You see that picture of him on the beach with the uh, belly hanging out? Yeah. 97 pounds. <laughs> right, Todd? I did. You saw yeah. that? Yep. Saw it. Him on TV, Todd, where he's got his belly sticking out. Oh, yeah. On the left side, and then, you know, you see him with the new Nutrisystem deal going yeah. on. That's where you send away and they send you that big box of food, right? Don't they send you the box of food? And... Oh, yeah. You get it for a month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just so... Here's, here's something else. Oh, that's I have, so sad. I have uh, no idea, but uh, I, I do believe these guys hate each other. Really? Oh, as yeah. much as we do? Yeah, well, everyone knows we hate <laughs> each other. But even someone you hate, you could at least not just give them facts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 100 pounds, good point. Well, you know what? Maybe, all right, Scott is trying, but what he's trying with, you can't do anything with. Yeah. You, yeah, can't, do, you can't do anything with. Like, it's a double edged sword. Sure Scott's can. throwing crap out there, right. and Todd is just not acknowledging. <laughs> How about Tony Orlando? Say the Tony Orlando setup. Uh, yeah, Tony Orlando lost uh, 100 hey, hey, pounds. Hey, hey, your voice is too good. You don't talk. Tony Orlando lost 100 pounds. Uh, you see him in the newspaper with his belly all hanging out? Oh, yeah, he looked like that pregnant man. I'm, saying, I'm not saying it's a gem. Ah, right, right. The, the pregnant man. How about that pregnant man? Yeah, no, it's really a woman, though. Let's kill it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like it's a straight man. It's a straight man and a straighter man. <laughs> like the straight man, want, he's going, wait a minute, I want to be. A straight man and a straight You know, you just go over to Anthony. Oh, you know, you go, wow. Hey. Who, 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 hey, Kramer, and then bam, right? He's looking, he uh, needs that dude in his life. This is, this is, uh, Abbott and Abbott. <laughs> <laughs> Abbott and Abbott, right. Yeah, I, I was reading something. It's all Moe's. Hardy and Hardy. <laughs> it's, it's three Moe's. <laughs> <laughs> three Moe's. <laughs> It, it's because I'm he's, trying to think of more comedy days. <laughs> I'm not done with this vid yet. It's it's Martin and Martin. M Martin and Martin. That's a good one. He's just gonna sing songs to himself with no wacky "Hey Lady" guy. <laughs> you want to hear one more quick uh, clip? Damn. I want to hear. I want to hear these guys. Oh, That's all I want to listen to. Well, Sam, this is great. Yeah. I love these. These guys are such asses behind the scenes. Sam writes. Scott tells a hilarious story about Richard Hatch. Well, this is really, I mean, Scott gets this bit moving, and you could tell from the length of the track that they really <gasps> go to town with this one. <laughs> God damn, Sam. It's 18 seconds. <laughs> I, I just got to let people know before we play 18 it. 18 seconds. I have said that fine intro from young Sam. Oh, uh, that's funny. The track is 18 seconds. How about this story from uh, How about Richard it? Hatch? Uh oh Said, uh... He once smuggled matches on the survivor Ooh. in his keister. Oh, jeez. Oh, got the hot button. All right. Pretty weird, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Now they're doing this on purpose just for us, right? How do you Come go, on. How do you go nowhere with that? <laughs> that <laughs> Richard Hatch is, was smuggling matches. That's yeah, one of the stories that, I, that we decided to pass on. Yeah, just that. Eh, who cares? Whatever. You know, there's so many. Uh, yeah, you can just do joke after joke, but it's going to be gay? the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, of course. Yeah. 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 yeah well, he had them because he also had a hibachi. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you yeah. go. A matches. Smuggle the hibachi. He's a matches. Positive and <laughs> positive. We're We're go, to go with some of that exaggerated <laughs> humor with this, uh, this story. You know what it is, too? They have no anti-establishment in them. Like, there's yeah. nothing that they hate about society. So, if they, like, say if the FCC starts coming down on radio, wouldn't care. Nope. 
because yeah. they're just they're not attached mm-hmm. to to hating society. They don't hate you can hear it. Yeah. It's just like, what's going on with this uh, Obama? They, Nothing. I don't know. This is what I got out of that. They hate it. they hate each other. Mm-hmm. They hate themselves. Okay. They hate doing radio. Right. Oh. They hate ow. matches. They hate oh. matches. <laughs> they hate laughter. Like every time one of them laughs, I bet his face hurts. Let's not say anything funny. Don't it laugh. Face. My face will crack. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one laughs and the other one turns his head to the left sideways and looks at him like, what yeah. is that sound what, you're what making? A lot of people, <laughs> What's wrong with your face? <laughs> a lot of people being very hurtful on instant feedback. Really? It's like really? Opie and Opie. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, gee, many prick. Yeah. Now like you've that. gone too far. I don't like oh, that. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. I oh, got it. Can we, oh. can we please play that again? Really? I got to hear that. Oh, oh. Because oh, he's just going, geez. oh, jeez. Oh, and then it's like, yeah. Yes. It just ends with it. It's Fargo. Yeah. Todd sucks. Yeah. They both yeah. suck. They both really suck. Scott is trying. That was a brilliant they're a, point. They were a Todd bunch of sucks. William H. Macy's. I'm like, trying to make down. jokes over here. Scott. I'm cooperating. Not the type of radio that I like, but Scott is a legend <clears throat> for doing a lot of things in radio. But uh, he's far from that these days. Far from it. These guys, I got to stress again to the people stuck in their cars, miserable, going to their dumb job. These guys make millions and millions of dollars to do exactly what we're playing. Yeah. They're doing nothing. <laughs> just, I would take this gig tomorrow. They're just babbling, and one of the uh, one or the other just doesn't want to hear it. But in this climate, though, they're perfect. They yeah, can, that's like, right pretty much now, it. They're, you know what? they're actually you're, perfect. You're right. Patrice is right. You know what I heard? No, they're not perfect. Uh, but people do boring radio way better than this. <laughs> <laughs> you're listening hey, to one of those shows. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. <laughs> I want to. I'm sticking it like, you know, throwing the bounce passes. I want to go in for a layup myself sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but at the end of this clip, you can almost hear Todd. He wants to say, "Will you shut the f up?" Uh-huh. <laughs> How about this story oh, from uh, Richard Hatch? Hatch. He said uh, he once smuggled matches on the Survivor Ooh. in his keister. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh, got the hot button. All right. Pretty weird, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty weird, huh? Pretty weird, partner. Sam, you, they, got, a, they you should, got a new job. You know that, right? Well, when, they, we can't let this go anytime soon. They should just play at least at least jungle noises in the back. Just a couple something. of things. Something. Some bird or, you know. Something. Maybe some Jurassic Park clips. Just something <laughs> to make it have life. You can hear the steam. It's, There's you know what it nothing sounds like? there. It's a constant flow, the feeling of, mem- mem- remember I'm just messed up, you know, with this yeah, thing? Yeah, And that moment of, you heard the steam. It's like, where oh, you just go, oh. He went, whoa, 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 and then he just went, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. It's a whole show of uncomfortable moments of silence. <laughs> 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 like if you did that to me, I would I would be hurt if I go, hey Anthony, hey Obi, Norton, and you just go, yeah, Patrice. I would go, I don't be, I, no one likes me. All I'm right. leaving. Uh, hold on, uh, Stephen has from Bayshore. He writes, oh, uh, oh no no, uh, this is the other one. Sorry, uh, it's updating way too fast. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> Stephen has from Bayshore writes, who the hell is? And he spells Richard R I T C H U R R D, and then he spells Hatch. H A L D G C H. Someone is saying, please let this go. How could you not enjoy We're this? We're not letting it go. How could you not no. enjoy this? I just want to I just want to run their show, like not even talk. Just like let their <laughs> and show. And listen. Play. Yeah, and just comment. Do a little uh, science mystery, whatever that uh mystery show, science mystery, theater. yeah, sure. Do a little of that. Oh uh, yeah. Anything yeah. else, Sam? Yeah. Did you hear? Mm-hmm. No, I mean... What happened to the rain thing? You said if you like rain. No, no, I just said that they were doing weather so They were doing weather reports. I knew the weather. Oh, really? You know, yeah. Like he didn't they, record that. It was a little too exciting. Hey, it <laughs> no, they got Joe Nolan on weather. I mean, come oh, Can you no. do them? Can you do those guys commenting on when they hear you guys trashing them? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that in a thing with uh, uh, Opie and Anthony? Yeah, with- Opie and Anthony. They were uh, saying bad things about us. Did you, you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 8.55. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
They were saying some pretty uh, bad things about the show, saying uh, not funny, uh, that we don't uh, have a rapport and can't really comment uh, on any subject. Did you, you hear that? Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's what they were saying, all right. You, you get paid ten times more than I. You this, betcha. This you, crap. You betcha. <laughs> yep. Oh so, uh, you know, I mean, what do you think about that? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, uh. Hey, I could do this bit. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to. <laughs> we really need to do this every day. You got See it. if we can get as uh, successful. Oh, tomorrow. Oh, it would be perfect for today, Stupid Iraq. tomorrow. It's okay. Iraq's got a tape of um, Scott Shannon. From the seventies, and you'll hear a very, very different. Wow, I bet different voice. Well, we'll compare Groovy. the two tomorrow. That's what we do with the show. We compare the two. You know, we play a lot of um, our stuff from ten years ago, Aunt. Yeah, and I'm proud to say our voices haven't changed that much. People have no. There's a I thread mean, on uh, my voice Black is Bag. a bit higher at times from in the old days, but besides that, for the most part. We're doing all right. There's, There's actually... a thread on Whackbag that says that my voice has changed um, since we went to XM. They could tell they could tell a, the difference between the old NEW shows, but that could be and just these a shows. process. But no, now. they say my accent changed. Like I had a much stronger Long Island accent back then than I do now, mm. oh. which is odd. I really don't think so. But they said when I get uh, worked up, like that day. Remember the day that that um, listener. Uh, was pinned by Master Poe down by the uh, yeah. payphone. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. They said, I came out and just started going, Yeah, you mother effer! <laughs> just, yeah, you want to eff with us? <laughs> and it sounded like I came right out of, like, Suffolk County, South Shore, Bay Shore. I don't know. That's what they, they, they just <laughs> had a big, long thread about that on, on the message board, that my voice is, has changed. Yeah. Screw them. Yeah. What do you think about that? Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Change in voice, uh, you know, I've, I haven't really noticed it, but, uh, you know, if some people are saying that, and I've got to, you know, did you notice a change? Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure did. <laughs> sure did.